So I get the privilege to talk about Coach Simmons. Um, Jim Morrissey here, also known as Mojo. Um, this is awesome to be able to have the experience to talk about my former coach. Um, very special person to me and all of us who played for him. Got three cool stories about Coach. Number one is my freshman year at uh, College Park, Maryland championship game, Carolina Syracuse. Uh, I think it was the only game the whole year I didn't get in. And that was fine by me because the game was a wild back and forth game and um, our seniors were kicking butt and it was their, te their team. And as a freshman, I was on the sidelines enjoying myself in watching the game. Um, but I kept noticing our, our lefty attackman, which is the position I played, kept getting a short stick. So I was noticing that trend as the game was going on and in crunch time, um, their short stick D midi was was locking up our lower lefty attack, and so kind of had an inkling that I might get the call to give it a shot in, in crunch time against the short stick as an attackman. Um, but at that point, I was just enjoying the game. So finally, about five minutes ago in the game, there's there's it's like tied. <laughs> Coach Simmons, <laughs> love it. Confidence in me, confidence in everybody, makes me believe in everybody. Just called my name. And all my buddies at the end of the bench were all fired up for me. Let's go, Mojo. Let's go, Mojo. And I was like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Um, kind of relu reluctantly. And uh, I get to the box, and Coach puts his arm around me. He's just like, Mojo, you're going to get in there. You're going to take the shorty to the cooker, and you're going to score the game winner. I'm just like, I look at Coach Desco. <laughs> I think Coach Desco was like turning a little red. I looked at Coach Desco like, "Are you sure this is the right the right call here, buddy?" And I wasn't sure Coach Desco was sold. And uh, the the coach in me today, which I am today, I think I was already showing signs of a coach there. I was like, I I think I didn't agree with the the move at that point in the game, going in there cold as a freshman. Um, but luckily, a flag went down when I was just about to enter the game. We went on man up, and Roy Coles he ripped a goal, so I didn't have to go in. <laughs> So, uh, won the game by one, um, but, you know, the moral of the story is Coach Simmons had total confidence in me, and it was just great how he he brought out the best in everybody. So, that was my freshman year story. Um, number two to sandwich that was obviously our trip to uh, Lockerbie, Scotland, to honor the victims of Pan Am Flight 103. Syracuse University students were tragically killed in that terrorist attack. Um, you know, we were a bunch of college kids over there in England, playing England, staying up all night, having fun, um, total experience. Um, and then coach brought us to Lockerbie and we were able to see the impact, obviously that, that tragedy had on, um, the town of Lockerbie as, you know, it was seven years after the fact when we were over there in 95, two weeks after our national championship victory, I might say. So we were still celebrating. But Coach brought us to Lockerbie. He brought this amazing wreath um, made out of like wooden lacrosse sticks and, you know, remembrance for those victims um, of, that, of that terrorist attack. And then just to see the townspeople from Lockerbie, how emotional they still were. We got emotional. Um, it, was, it was a wake-up call. Um, like I said, we were partying the whole week. But then we got to Lockerbie. That really straightened us up. You know, straighten us out, made us grow up a little bit, and realize why we were there, and what Coach Simmons is all about. So, Coach, thanks for bringing us over there. Still haven't forgotten it to this day. And then the uh, final story was uh, 1996, my senior year. I was a captain. Um, didn't have the greatest year to that point. The chemistry wasn't. We had like 19 freshmen and only like seven seniors. So it was, it was kind of tilted in terms of the, the balance of the, the the roster. And these our freshmen were. Or um, uh, in, uh, had a lot of personality, I might say. So, but we got we got to the quarterfinals. Um, we were the fifth seed playing against Carolina, who was very good. Had a bunch of seniors. Um, quarterfinal game. I'm a senior. We I think we had like 12 or 13 straight years to go to the final four, and I didn't want to be that senior captain that you know was on the team that didn't go to the final four um, for the first time. We didn't want to break the streak. So, very nervous, very tight, sitting on the bench outside the bus. The, the bus is packed with our whole team ready to go, just getting ready to go to the game. And I'm just thinking about a lot of things, my whole career. 
and I'm sitting there and you know I had a little little bit of question and doubt based on their team and their their roster and who we had at the time um, you know I think we were clicking at the time so there was some comments there but overall season wise we, we we you know weren't an elite team at that point so I'm sitting on the on the bench and all of a sudden my coach comes out of the hotel with a stroll um, of just complete confidence and he had his white hat on I think he had a blue jacket on and like freaking white pants I mean just coming out with total confidence and that just changed my whole outlook on that game I sat there and looked at my coach and as he got on the bus he looked at me and I go this guy's on my team I go we got this and I jumped on the bus Went and kicked the butt, kicked the crap out of UNC. Went to our another Final Four, and uh, you know that kind of wrapped it up for me in terms of Coach Simmons and the confidence he gave me and gave everybody. And you know he let me live my dream. So thank you, Coach. Love you, man. Uh, think about you like every day. So thanks for giving me this opportunity.